In the 7th century, Arabian and Persian traders from the Middle East traveled to China through the Silk Roads to meet with Emperor Gaozong of the Tang Dynasty. The envoys were Sahaba, companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The meeting was successful. Not only did the country start trading, but soon after receiving the envoy, the emperor actually ordered the construction of Memorial Mosque in Guangzhou, also known as as Canton, to honor Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. The Arabian and Persian immigrants settled in China and built tombs and mosques designed in traditional Chinese architecture and Arab design. Slowly, they intermarried native Chinese women and raised a massive generation of the first Chinese-speaking Muslims. This is how Islam got introduced to China, and today, after almost 1,000 years, Muslims make up approximately 1.5% of the total population, which is estimated to be around 20 million in number. They are mainly spread over five provinces and divided by a range of ethnicities, languages, and customs. Xinjiang, a region in northwest China, and the primary route of the ancient Silk Road trade, has the largest number of Muslims in China. It is home to at least 20 million Muslims, and for most of history, they have enjoyed the freedom to practice Islam. However, today, Muslims in Xinjiang face a cruel test of faith. Prayers are banned within the borders, fasting is punished, and the Islamic culture is forcefully eroded from the state. They are silenced by torture and around a million ethnic Muslims are placed in detention camps. It is considered to be the largest scale detention of ethnic and religious minorities since World War II. Ningxia, a beautiful green land in northwest China, is home to the second largest population of Muslims in the country. Around 36% of 7 million people practice Islam, and up till 2012, the faith flourished. But unfortunately, Today, Muslims in Ningxia are subjected to the same torture as their brothers and sisters in Xinjiang. Almost every mosque in the region has its dome stripped off or forcibly renovated. Muslims are increasingly scrutinized, their schools are demolished, and most religious leaders are imprisoned. It is the saddest trial of all time. Gansu, a historical asset in north-central China, boasts a population of 26 million people, of which 19%, approximately 5 million, are Muslim. Islam has roots dating back over 1,300 years in Gansu, and today it is the state's most prominent religion. Muslims in Gansu aren't withheld from practicing their faith. In fact, Langzhou, the capital of Gansu, is regarded as the most Muslim-friendly cities in the country. However, the Chinese government has started campaigns in the state that promise a better future for Muslims with the condition that they devote themselves to the communist regime instead of their religion. This is not only a violation of human rights, but also a threat to the ethnic Muslim minorities in the state. King Hai, a gorgeous plateau in China, has a sparse population of around 6 million people, and at least 2 million of them are Muslim. Soon after its establishment, in 1928, Muslim warlords took over the rule in King Hai and continued to reign for more than 20 years. This definitely promoted Islamic education in the state and allowed many Chinese Muslims to find a peaceful home in the Tibetan province. Today, King Hai has a rich Buddhist heritage along with a multi-ethnic Islamic culture. Yunnan a snow-capped mountainous region in southwestern China has a permanent population of 48 million people, of which more than a million are Muslims. Though it seems too few of a number, Yunnan is actually known for its ethnical diversity and is home to more than 25 different minority groups. Muslims have built around 867 mosques in the region, many religious centers, and several Islamic schools in Yunnan. 
The nationwide crackdown on Chinese Muslims, unfortunately, did reach the region due to which three masjids were recently closed down and the use of Arabic script was banned. Because of the influx of immigrants in the country's rich history of trade, China is divided into 55 different ethnic minorities. Among these five main Muslim-majority provinces in China, there are more than 10 different ethnic groups of Muslims. Hui Muslims comprise over 48% of the total Muslim population, making them the largest group. They are ethnically Chinese. Majority of them are situated in Ningxia, Gansu, and Qinghai. Hui Muslims speak the dialect of Han mostly, but some choose to incorporate Arabic into their language. The second most number of ethnic Muslims are Uyghurs, and they tabulate over 41% of the total Muslim population. Uyghurs are concentrated mostly in Xinjiang and are ethnically Turkic. In the 10th century, Turkic tribes immigrated to China for trade, witnessed Islam in the country, and officially converted their faith, which brought to the world Uyghur Muslims. Besides Hui and Uyghur Muslims, there are multiple smaller groups like Kazakh that make up 6% of the total Muslim population and Dongzhang that register about 2.5% of the total Muslim population. Then there are Salar, Kyrgyz, Uzbeks, Tajik, Tatar, and Bonan Muslim ethnic minorities that comprise less than 2% of the total Muslims. Today, Islam in China is in a grueling state of affairs. But despite the challenge, Muslims seem to be growing in number. This may be because of many converting to Islam as well as family planning. May Allah safeguard the Chinese Muslims. Amin.